Hi, I'm Miles Charlie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean silver. So as part of my spring clean, um, I tackle the silver. So I tend to do it before Christmas and then again in the springtime. And it has got pretty filthy. I don't know if you can see but it's not looking its best at all. So I've got various different options to show you. So this one is called Goddard's Silver Foam Polish. This is a product that I've been using for years and years and years. So my mum was quite keen to get me helping her clean the silver, who's just joined us. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is a product I've used for years and you use it with a damp sponge and then you wash it off after. So it's quite important that you use this with um, things that don't have bays in. So this is really, really old um, and actually really should be replaced inside, but I don't want that to get wet. So I probably won't use this, or if I do, very, very carefully on this so that doesn't get wet. But this is perfect for something like this. And then I've got this other product, which is called Silvo, which probably you may be more familiar with than the Goddard's. Um, which is this, which you then buff up with a old duster or an old cloth. So I'm gonna show you that as well. And then I've got this silver cloth. Now this is really well used and it's got a bit more life in it. So these come in packets that look like that from any good hardware shop. And these are just quite good for picture frames and just a quick clean sort of in between the times when I actually properly clean the silver. So I have got my rubber gloves. So I've just got an old dirty pair of rubber gloves which I use for silver cleaning and I'm going to show you this Silvo one first on here. So you break a bit off and you just rub it all over and this is quite a difficult item to clean. It was actually my parents and I really love using it. I use it on the dining table as a wine um, well it, it takes two bottles, so either a bottle of wine or a bottle of water, but the silver gets caught in those bits, which is a little irritating, but you just rub the product all over and you can see the dirt is coming off as I'm rubbing. Now it's also really important with silver that you don't overly rub the hallmark. So here on the front, can you see down there at the bottom? I don't know if you can get, I'll bring it as close as I can. That's the hallmark. And there's also a little bit of um, some engraving, but actually that has, be, that has been well rubbed over the years. And it's beginning to wear off. You don't want to overly clean the hallmark. You just want to give it a quick wipe because that is the maker's print. So when you go to get silver valued or, or to sell or whatever, that is how they tell it, where it's made and the date and who buy. So it's really important that you don't overly clean silver there. Lots of people have, um, you know, rubbed away hallmarks, which is really sad because then you can't find the history. Um, so that's quite an important tip. So that bit, actually if I turn it there, there's a bit more that I can use. So give it good clean and I actually tend to get all the silver together sit down and actually put a good film on the TV um, and just kind of enjoy my time or listen to a podcast or something on the radio and just have a morning or an afternoon um, blitzing the silver so I'm now going to break off another little bit and just do inside of this as well is a dirty job and that's why I've got my apron on. So whenever I'm doing a dirty job, I put an apron on and then um, just keep my top clean, which is probably quite an old fashioned thing to do, but um, I don't want to get dirty marks on my top and have to change before I go and pick the kids up or whatever I'm off to do. So I've done the inside and now literally with, so these cloths I love, um, I use them as dishcloths and then actually when they're not looking their best, I then use them around the house for jobs like this. They go through the washing machine, they come up like new most of the time, 
I like a really clean white sparkling dishcloth, but um, these, when they've had a bit of abuse, are great for, for a job like this. I find with dusters, they leave little bits, which is annoying. These cloths are great. I think they're called Spontex, and they come in packs of two. So again, I'm just being careful over that hallmark and that um, little bit of engraving on the front there. I don't know what it is. It looks like a sort of arrow. Anyway, I find silver really fascinating, the history behind bits. I wish I could read and understand hallmarks. So, and that, and then I'll just give it a bit of a rub inside. And a buff up. So that is looking a lot better um, already. You can see it's beginning to shine, which is good, that's what we want. So I'm then gonna pop that to one side and show you using this Goddard's product. So this, which I love, and I may have shown you this at Christmas. Um, it was an anniversary present from Simon, gosh, probably, four or five years ago, I was actually in a wheelchair when we bought it. We bought it um, at Petworth Antiques Fair and I was in a wheelchair for almost a year and I was quite scared about going out. Anyway, I remember him bringing this up to me in the chair and showed it to me and thought it was really beautiful. So we bought it and it was our wedding anniversary as well. So. Um, so yes, so you just wet the sponge and then dip it in to this sort of pink um, kind of paste. Well, it's a sort of kind of dirty pink. Hey, Ben. Um, and you just wipe it all over, just like with the other one. But obviously, it's it's wet. Um, and I think I find this easier to use because you just pop the product on and then rinse it off. So I tend to put it on and then do another piece. So I let the product work into um, and leave it on for a little bit and then just rinse the sponge and then rinse it off and then dry it with a, I use a tea towel um, to dry the silver and then um, it's done. So it's really very easy, but you can only use it if you don't mind your item getting wet. So there's the mark, the maker's mark here on the bottom. So again, I just really carefully and lightly brush over that because we don't want to lose it. And you don't want to scrub, scrub, scrub at silver. Um, because it does wear the print down and this, you know, over years, if I was to really scrub at this, it would damage it. So you do have to be careful. Um, so I'll just give it a little go, put some more paste on, give it a little go inside and then I shall leave it for a minute or two and then rinse it off and show you. important to wear gloves. So I'm going to leave that there and show you in a minute what it looks like. So I've given this a good rinse and I've got a tea towel and I'm just going to dry it off and it's just gleaming already. So Goddard's is my favourite because it's just so easy to use. Um, and actually a pot lasts years as well. You can get it online. Um, I think I used to buy it in a hardware shop but I couldn't find it recently and I managed to track it down online so that was um, good. And it's not terribly expensive either. So there, that is all done. Gleaming and super super easy. So those are my top 
oh I've got my fingers over them my top silver and goddards products and then this for in, in between just giving it a buff up or for picture frames or for whatever so I hope that you have found that useful and do remember to hit the subscribe button down below for me and like as well and do write any comments and any questions as well do ask me because I'm really happy to help answer questions that you've got thank you